There's a saying about if you want to run, you first have to find your feet. And that is entirely what I did last week in the greenhouse with the hydroponic system. I was learning to find my feet. You'll recall that I had planted the seeds in cotton balls and then I put those cotton balls in the pool noodle. Well, we're gonna see how those little suckers did in the series of videos that I will show you right now. Next time, we're gonna see if any of them survived the procedures from what I did in these videos. I am back in the greenhouse with the hydroponic system today and these babies are getting pretty big, huh? Yeah. Hello there. And strong. They are getting strong. However, I have noticed a pretty serious issue. See how easily that falls down? That is not a good thing because it's very hard to pull back up and the plant doesn't stand up. So I'm going to have to approach this one of two ways. One, I'm going to have to figure out something that might fit in here to hold the plant upright, which is an idea, or I'm going to have to be forced to use the net cups. Now to see which would do better, I'm going to try both. I'm going to take that window screening and fill in a few cups see how it does and then I will take a couple of net cups and see how they do with some perlite in them and see if I can get them to root in the perlite pretty sure I can now this right here is pretty massive so much so it's shading the mustard it needs room of its own so here we go you need room of your own, you're gonna get room of your own. Oh, oh, that biblet is definitely needs. <laughs> That's ready to go down inside that uh, pool noodle. Oh, I need both hands to do this. Alright. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at the roots. Aren't the roots so pretty? I'm not worried about the algae. Not worried about the algae in the slightest. Basil. Gonna have a pretty spectacular crop of basil if it keeps growing. And again, nice root growth on that basil. Look at that baby. Fat leaves. Fat leaves. Here, I grab this label. There we go. Now, <laughs> look. Look at those roots. They're gigantic. Oh no, is this, uh... oh no, this is just algae. This is just algae. It's okay. These roots are like a foot long. <laughs> you need space, you're gonna get space. You're gonna get all the space you want, all to yourself. Here you go. Oh, and they feel like really good roots too. In there, there are ants. Naughty little ants. There we go. Oh can't be right on the bottom. There we go. I think this, uh, there we go. Fine, right there, I think. I think, I don't think the water's coming in. There we go. <sighs> oh, 
All right. Now. Oh no, mustard. This is the problem. This is the problem. See, it just can't st ah! stand up. Oh, dash it all. And, yep, mustard bit it. Okay, all right, well, it's okay, it's just mustard. I've got three million mustard seeds. There we go, get in there, get in there. The lettuce is definitely gonna need some, uh, oh, need definitely need some support. Okay, okay, okay. I won't yank on you. <gasps> terrible, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Which I don't think it's... It's not dead. It still has a... Uh, it still has a root. I can put it back in. Uh, well, the basil might get a little big, too. So. Okay. Let's get the basil over here. Get in there. Get in there. Beautiful root. There we go. Down in there. Let's just make sure it doesn't... Ah! No! No! Okay, they all need help. <laughs> they all need help. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose them. Okay. Let's get that screening done, shall we? <laughs> okay, one thing I realized quite quickly is that the roots on some of these have really gone to town. This one is really far down there. So um, putting a window screen in there and just stuffing it in there is probably not going to do it a whole lot of good. So uh, with ones with longer roots, I'm actually going to try the net cups. This one, this little uh, mustard, uh, mustard renowned for uh, being able to deal with abuse. So I'm going to abuse it. I will try the window screen treatment with the mustard. Let's see. It shouldn't, it really shouldn't take too much. I'll try just a little snip section like that first. Tuck that in there. Are you going to get enough? Oh my. Maybe that's too big. It might be too big. Do okay for just just for now. I can actually I don't want to damage the leaves. Alright. What do you think? Do you think this is gonna work or do you think this is uh is this going to leave the root far too dry? I do have a good flow of water right now. I have drippers on the way and they should be here today or tomorrow that will drip water at a much slower rate than it's going right now. Right now it's, it's going pretty fast, which is good for oxygenation, but it, it's really rough on, you know, keeping the plant steady inside the pool noodle. 
go. A little mustard. Ah. These gutter guards are great, but they're uh they can be a little frustrating to work with. This is very frustrating. Okay. Um. I don't want to damage the root, but it's it's really hard to get it in there. Okay, I think I pretty much have it the way it should be. Now, let's try this net cup thing and get the basil in where it belongs. And I'll show you the problem here with uh, with the perlite. It falls out and I can't have that either. So I still need to use the window screen just in a different way. Of course, when the plant gets big enough, it can actually hold itself up like that little Thai eggplant. The little Thai eggplant has no problem. It's not gonna slip through. When the babies are this small, it can be really rough on them. would have been better if I'd grabbed a pen, but I'm pretty sure this will work just fine. Okay. And that covers the bottom. I'm trying to avoid those folds that I got in the pool noodle. It's just, it's, it's really frustrating. And then I got to clean it all out. This way I'll just have a nice, easy little I'm going to use these scraps here. I'm gonna need. No, no, maybe not. No, I guess not. This might be okay. Fiddly stuff. Fiddly stuff. Oh, well, yep. Gonna need it. I need it longer than I need it longer than this. I do. Okay. A little bigger, a little longer. It's 
So let's see. Ah. Farther than both of these together. Let me make that snip. There it is. All right. I'm just wrecking the joint today. It's very hard to see where the cut lines are on this window netting. Sorry, Basil. Oh, my goodness. Set you there. Can I see it now? Kinda? Kinda sorta? Perfect. Well, that should be perfect. Maybe kind of, sort of. Now, tuck this in. Get in there. Oh, it's way big. It's all right. Window screening is more fiddly stuff than I thought it would be. There we go. That should do. That should do nicely. Very dry, very dusty. All right, now, while dust may come through, I'm not seeing any of the big fat bits come through, which is just fine. I am gonna wet this down right after I get this in here. Uh, maybe I should have. This is this works a little like soil, I guess. Except soil. Ah, yeah. all right, well, fine, you just be that way. All right, try to get all over my nice, clean greenhouse that I just finished vacuuming yesterday. I'm going to have perlite all over the place. This is why I don't like perlite. <laughs> it's just so messy all over the place in between and it's gonna get all in the net but but look at how well the basil sits up now that's much better isn't it i would say that is 
much better. I like that a lot. All right, now. Oh, I wish I could tone down the. Oh, it's compacting down quite a bit, which I kind of expected. I'm gonna fill it up just a little more. Oh, just perlite all over the place. Oh. Ah. But it is cheaper than the clay pebbles right now. Oh my goodness. What? What a wreckage. What a wreck. I am so glad I have the net bag to catch all of this junk before it gets to my pump. All right. There you go, Basil. You should be happy. You should be fine. Come over here. Uh, you can have this one. No, you can have this one. Nope. Nope. That's for that. And this is for this. Are you going to fit? Ha 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 ha. It doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I gotta, uh, I gotta figure this out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to clip. Clip. <clears throat> And, uh, ah, hey, you guys, stay standing. What is going on? Oh, it's two. There, there. All right. I don't want to cut this one. It's too close to the end. This one's going to have to be it. to clip too much just one see. I don't think I have to cut a whole circle It's a little funky, but nope, not yet. All right, keep going. Now, surely, I give it a little push. Nope. Ah. Uh, Almost. Almost. Ah, oh, come on. Nope. There we go. You guys gotta behave yourselves. There we go. Little basil. That. Ah, oh, I hope that's okay. I hope that's okay. Oh, this is going to be so much better when I have the little drippies, little, little drip, drip emitters. All right. I'm going to see if that's actually where it's supposed to be, because I don't know. I don't know. If the basil starts to wilt, then I'll know it's not okay. All right, let's try another one and uh, see if I can get this down any better. Hmm. 
I can't wait for you to grow up, Basil. I have gotten the bib lettuce into a much better, it's, it looks much nicer than the basil. The basil is pretty uh, messy. I cut it, I cut it a lot closer, you know, marked out the window screening in this so it looks better, but I still do not like having to use the perlite. So I will go to pretty much any lengths to avoid using it because this, I don't want to clean this up every single time I have to plant something. Now it's, uh, this might be a solution for some of the bigger plants. Just propping it up with a little piece of foam here. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work for it, but it is getting watered. I guess I can try it for the, uh, for the mini bok choy and see how that does. The greens, <sighs> hmm. I don't know. They seem pretty small for that kind of treatment. I don't want to have to sit here and cut out all these things for the net cups. But I might have to. We'll see. We'll see. 